Welcome back! Here's what's new in Axosoft version 16.4. Axosoft has a new in-app tutorial. Any new users will automatically trigger the tutorial when logging in for the first time. Current users looking for a refresher can navigate to Help, Show Tutorial Bar. The tutorial bar will appear at the top and let you choose which tutorials you wish to start. The bar will track your progress and you can always dismiss the bar at any time. Don't forget, if you need any additional resources, you can always visit the Help menu. We've made numerous smaller changes as well. Notifications will now include details on what a field was changed from along with what it was changed to. In List View, there is a new column that shows the number of related items. If you dock the related items pane to the bottom of your screen, you can also include a Work Item Type column. The Releases and Projects fields have been updated with a combo search box. All options will still be listed, but you can quickly refine the list to find what you're looking for by typing the first few letters of your release or project folder. When creating filters, you can now add a new user token for the assigned to field called Current User Teams. It will filter items that are assigned to any teams the current user belongs to. A few more quality of life improvements worth noting. Hovering over a title that is cut off will show the full title. Search results will now highlight and bold matching strings. And you can now remove a sub item from its parent when you view a sub item and click on this X. All right, that covers what's new in Axosoft version 16.4. For more helpful videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next release.